And it's a very good morning from That's Racing. And without my partner in tipping today, the gelding, he's away sunning himself in Thailand. So, uh, But he's managed to get his tips into me, so he won't miss out on those. Racing's at Caulfield today, where it's a 10-race card, the first at 12.10pm. The feature race is the Group 2 Zipping Classic. Race eight on the card over 2,400 metres worth $750,000. So a very nice prize purse there for the horse that wins that one. The track's rated a good four, but punters, take care. Any rain during the day, I would imagine that that track will be downgraded. The rail's out five metres for the entire circuit, so it'll be interesting to see how that affects the pattern of racing today. And without further ado, let's go to Gelding's tips in... His first tip, he race five, the Eclipse Stakes, a group three race over 1,800 metres. He likes horse number three, Ain't No Deal Done, coming out of barrier seven. It's had 21 starts for seven wins and two placings, so a 33% win rate, a 43% place rate. Why does a gelding like this horse? Well, it's won its last three races, and as we like to say on that's Racing, winning form is good form. The last race that it won was the Group 3 JRA Cup on the 27th of October. Currently showing in the markets at $3 and $1.40, so represents good value for each way betters. Billy Egan in the saddle, he's got 11% career riding winning rate and trained by the Freedmans, Anthony and Sam. And they're in career form at the moment, 16% over their career, but over the last 50, 20%. So in that race, race five, horse number three, ain't no deal done. Gilding, Gilding's second selection is in race nine, the Summoned Stakes, a group three race for four-year-old mares and above, 1,600 metre race. He likes in this race, number one, revolutionary miss coming out of barrier 10. It's had 19 wins for only three starts and five placings, so a 16% win rate. We normally like to see a win rate better than that, but obviously Gelding likes something about this horse in this race, but a 42% place rate, and that's what we like. We like to see the horse in the money at any stage. It's won over the distance. It's won a Group 2 race. In fact, it won the CUNY Stakes at Flemington in March and followed it up with a second in the Group 2 Sunline Stakes at Mooney Valley. This horse has the ability. It's won its last race at Cranbourne last week. So as I said once before, winning form is good form and we like that on that's racing. Michael D's in the saddle. He's got an 11% career win rate. Peter and Paul Snowden are the trainers. They've got a 17% career rate. So Gelding's two selections in today's races at Caulfield. Race five, horse three, ain't no deal done into race nine, horse one, revolutionary miss and now let's turn to my selections i'm going earlier than gelding in that i like a horse in race two the mrc member handicap a benchmark 70 race over 1800 meters i like in this race horse number four a wash coming out of barrier nine and with the i suppose it's an omen bet with the weather that's been in victoria over the last few days a wash is a very good name for a horse had six Races so lightly raced for three wins and two placings, so impressive. It's been in the money five out of six times it started. 50% win rate, 83% place rate. Um, once again, a good winning record. It's won its last three starts. The last at Mooney Valley on the 17th of November when it came from behind, ridden hands and heels to the line. I like that. If you get a chance, have a look at the, that race. Uh, the horse certainly has something. It's up in distance, but that shouldn't be a problem. Ridden by Jamie Carr. She's back into her best form over the last 50. 16% win rate. Trained by Ma Eustace, and they love being able to pick the races they put horses in. They're in career form at the moment. 17% over their career, but over the last 50, a, a tick up on that, 18%. Currently showing $4 and $1.70 fixed. Get on at that price because it'll start much shorter i think it'll start around the 250 270 mark so certainly showing great value at the present time my second selection and we've got to have a selection in the main race race eight the zipping classic group two over 2400 meters i like in this race horse number 10 mira Massa. we've been on that horse before and it hasn't let us down coming out of barrier four it's had 10 starts for four wins and a placing 40% 40 win rate, a 50% place rate. 
The horse, this horse, like a couple of others we've selected today, has also won its last three starts, including the Group 3 Kunji at this track in October. It hasn't put a foot wrong either. The campaign in this campaign and can make certainly a win at this start. $3.70 and $1.50 at the moment. It'll st start a lot shorter. I think it'll start around the $2, $2.10 mark. So get on now while you can. Daniel Moore in the saddle. He's in career form. If you want to see an uptick in uh, wins, 8% career form win rate, but in the last 50, up to 16%. So he's certainly stepped up. Trent Pursutin and Natalie Young are the trainers. They've got a 13% career win rate. So a lot to like about this horse. So my two horses for today, race two, horse four, a wash, race eight, horse 10, Muramasa. Now looking to the, as the gelding would say, the very, very, very successful Professor's Parlay. There was a win last week. In the horse leg, we had Jimmy Starr that won. We parlayed that into the Milwaukee Bucks and the Golden State Warriors, and they both saluted. The win parlay paid $15.85. The place parlay paid $8.95. The, the parlay has been running at a win rate of 70% over the last two, 10 weeks. So we've been able to lift that rating, and we hope to do the same today. The agreed bet of the day between Gelding and I is in race five, Horse number three, Ain't No Deal Done. And we're sticking with the NBA. We're going to parlay Ain't No Deal Done into the Orlando Magic to beat the Washington Wizards. And just on that selection, um, I'd get on as soon as you see this because uh, I think the start rate is, or well, the starting time for that uh, game is just after 11 a.m. So you've only got an hour to get uh, the bet on. Orlando Magic, second in the Eastern Conference. They've won 13 and lost five. Uh, they've got uh, an average points four of 114, an average points against of 108. Um, the Washington Wizards having a terrible season so far, 14th in their conference, second last, that is. They've only won three of 15. Um, their worst uh, rating is that they let in 124.8 points per game, and you're not going to win too many NBA games if you do that. Um, there's a bit of a form cider in this one. Orlando played... Washington only two days ago and won 139 to 120. So we'll take that one to the bank. Orlando have won their last five. The line in this is 11 and a half. So the bookies don't like uh, Washington Wizards either. So we'll parlay that into, and we'll go back to the NFL now, the Miami Dolphins to beat the Washington Commanders. Miami Dolphins got one of the best offenses in the NFL. They're fourth in the AFC They've won eight out of 11, so they've got good form. They usually score at least 31 points a game. And, and let's contrast that to the Washington Commanders. They're 14th in the NFC or third last. They've only won four games out of 12. They have the worst defense in the NFL, allowing in a high of 29 points a game. So what we've got here is one of the highest scoring offenses against one of the defences that's the poorest in the NFL. So I'll take that any day. The bookies don't like the Washington commanders. They've got the line at nine and a half. So that's at least uh, a converted touchdown and almost a field goal as well. So we like that. So it's ain't no deal done. Race five, horse three into the Lando Magic to beat the Washington Wizards into the Miami Dolphins to beat the Washington commanders. Washington with two teams that we think are going to get beaten. So without the gelding, it's a lot quicker. Uh, that's racing today. And we've got to say that uh, it's probably the gelding who uh, keep, keeps doing all the talking in these uh, racing segments. Anyway, until next Saturday, it's good luck and good punting.